skyline. Uh, we're just out of Rotorua at our uh, new workshop. We've sort of moved out of town a little bit to be a little bit more private and get a lot more work done. Yep. And how is the business going? It's going well, mate. We've got uh, four cars here at the moment from England, um, all with different types of builds, drag cars, street cars, show car, um, but all based along the, the lines of uh, high power street cars slash drag car. Yeah. You may think we've gone a little bit crazy here on Jim Beam New Zealand Performance Car with Skylines, but we can't get enough of them. This one right here is the best one in the world. Skyline R34 GTR built by Rips in Rotorua. This thing is a beast. Uh, well, I can't actually tell you whose it is, but um, it's a very well-known uh, rugby player from England, and he wanted something very special that nobody else has got so that he could definitely have a one-of-a-kind. The friends have got Porsches and Ferraris and all that sort of thing and he basically wants something to go home and kick their ass. All I do is Skylines, 99% of it's RB30s and along the theme of something different and the, the quality that he wanted, uh, he decided that we were best for the job. He'd seen previous cars that we've done and previous engines that I've built and uh, we got talking and became quite good friends actually so it's worked out really well and uh, we just have discussed it from start to finish and gone over every little thing that he could possibly want. We've pretty much ended up with exactly what he dreamt of. We hand make everything on this car. There will not be another one like this ever in the world. Well, basically it's got one of my own uh, four wheel drive RB30s which I started building about five or six years ago. Uh, they make some serious torque and serious power. It will happily toot along it. 1200 revs in 6th gear, you know, it'll pull away smoothly, it's making a lot of boost by 3000 revs, 3500 revs, it's, it's on, and it pulls hard to 9 grand, um, and this car will do 200 miles an hour. We've got the stroke brace obviously over the top there, uh, we've made our own water uh, bottle for the radiator, so it's a whole, we've custom made that ourselves here, uh, made our own lids and everything like that. Right, we're here with uh, Quinn Hamill at the moment, Chief Photographer of New Zealand Performance Car. Now Quinn, what are you doing on the ground there? Is that the best, plot, best way to get a good angle? Oh yeah, for sure, man. Shoot nice and low, it's always the best way. Well, in this case the car's black, which is always notoriously hard to shoot, um, because they always have heaps of reflections, so it's best to find a big open space. So they have like trees reflecting off the windscreens and things like that. The car's pretty industrial and tough. The car's, you know, obviously stealth as well, so it's a good location for the car. Plus we've got a big wide open area, so don't have too many reflections. The intake plenum here, once again, that was handmade. Uh, it's probably about 80 to 90 hours to make that plenum. It goes into a cylinder head, which we've had ported and polished and good cams and things in there. Forged pistons, built con rods, uh, good oil pump. We do our own big sumps and things like that. And uh, as it sits there, you can just turn the key, daily driver, and uh, it's a genuine 800 horsepower. Uh, this one's got a uh, T04Z uh, roller bearing turbo. Uh, we run that at anywhere up to 30 pounds of boost uh, on the street. The clutch is nice, it's not shuddery or anything like that. You just drive it like a perfectly normal car, and then when you put your foot down, it's on. And uh, the turbo is specifically selected to give him what he wanted. I've had it to 180 on a private road of course. Yes, yep. And uh, we're still pulling fine at 180. My well, thing's drag racing as well. Yeah, as well. I just like the feel of the acceleration. I'm not so worried about real high speed. If you can do 150 to 160 miles an hour on the quarter mile, that's a, a good ride. Yeah, this particular car is my favourite car. It's just, it does everything. It stops, it goes, it looks good. Um, it just does everything. It's, it's the best all round car we've ever built. Once you're driving a good 30, you will never have a 26. <laughs> We've got our own radiator, we make our own radiator here and it's got a special heat exchanger in the bottom tank. The, uh, the technology of it is actually some that we've uh, got from the latest uh, Winston Cup NASCARs in, in America right. and it means that your oil temperature and water temperature basically remain the same at all times. Salcon brakes, uh, I think they're 350 or 360 mil rotors uh, which have been rebranded as Greedy. 295 tyres I think all around so yeah it's got plenty of rubber and it handles nice and turns in well. This was on the car when it arrived, um, he, he's, he's installed that, it just helps with downforce and helps keep the, the car stable. Now, we've also got carbon diffusers and things under the under the, the bottom of the car. Uh, once again, all to do with high speed stability. We do a lot of fuel systems, but this one had to be had to be different and it had to be black. And the customer's not interested in the exteriors and 
freaky upholstery or anything like that. So we decided that we'd just keep it nice and tidy and simple. Got a Rips exhaust manifold that's all handmade here, stainless steel. People low mount turbos, people high mount turbos, we're going to mid mount the turbo. <laughs> so we've mounted it mid, mid engine. Um, we also wanted to show off our uh, fabricating skills, so by having an exhaust manifold like that, it's something different, it's functional, it's reliable. Um, no, I like to just sit back with a beer when I'm finished and just be proud of what um, what we've made. This car is 800 plus horsepower. We went for a drive just before. Uh, my guts completely went the other way. This thing is a beast. And uh, I find it quite ironic as well that it's all black. What's up with that, Robbie? Even though he may be from England, uh, the best colour is probably always going to be black and, and it, it keeps uh, keeps in with the theme of the stealth and personally I like the black skylines, it's uh, it's real nice. You might be able to pass this on to your uh, infamous rugby player yeah. and um, if he's ripping up Twicken and doing a few doughies, that might help. Yeah, that'll be the way, we'll, we'll make sure it gets that and uh, we might be able to get a couple of girls out there to clean it for him, no doubt. The best way to view these cars is not to break in, because you'll get eaten alive. So get onto the website ripslimited.com to see more of these skylines.